Today we're going to be talking about batteries and how they work. And for those of you who don't know what a battery is, um, well, life isn't going to be easy for you. Let me just, I'll, I'll tell you that now. So there are two main kinds of batteries. The first is secondary batteries and these are chargeable. So you can recharge them. They're what you'd find in your phone and in your car in, and in other things, I fucking guess. Um, but that's all the examples I can think of right now. And then there are primary batteries. If you try to recharge primary batteries, they tend to go extremist Islam and blow up. Everyone stop, I want something. I have realized I am getting really close to a thousand subscribers and that would be amazing. Every time that counter goes up, I notice it. And I, if you really want to make me happy and help me achieve one of my goals, just hit the red button. It helps me so much and I really do appreciate it. Now let's explain how batteries get their energy. There are a few ways that energy is created, different forms, and I'll tell you a few not to spoil any future videos I want to make because I want a little more views on them. So some of them include mechanical, chemical, light energy, and electrical energy, and there are more, don't worry. And to get electrical energy, you generally need another form of energy. In the case of batteries, it's chemical, and then you need to convert it into electricity. So for generators, they use mechanical and magnetic energy, and I might do a video on that later, but fucking who knows with me. And I'll be explaining how batteries sort of get the fucking chemical energy and then shit it into electrical. I could explain all the different kinds of energy and the work you need to do shit, but fuck, let's just focus on batteries for today. The main batteries I'll be talking about today are alkaline batteries, I'm pretty sure. What's inside an alkaline battery? I'm glad you asked. There are a, f are a few things inside what's called the electrolyte, and I will get into the electrolytes later. But what's inside it are high density magnesium dioxide, potassium hydroxide, and zinc. This is all according to the Duracell Company website, so, um, Quality research, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, all those chemicals are in what's called the electrolyte, which is kind of the fucking juice shit in the middle of a battery. And I'll explain the rest of it, um, I guess, now. So here we have a diagram of pretty much a battery. The positive terminal or plate is called the cathode. The negative terminal or plate is called the anode. And in the middle, they, they're pretty much sandwiched um, over the uh, electrolyte and the two terminals are called electrodes and the electrolyte is where the chemical shit goes down and attached to the negative anode is a pin going up into the battery like an 8 inch dildo and this is what the electrons collect around when the battery needs to work and how they work is actually quite simple no nah, I'm fucking with you it's actually kind of complicated so the anode, the negative terminal, reacts chemically with the electrolyte and starts shitting out electrons that start sticking to it. And the cathode, the positive terminal on the other side, gets the shits about this and starts to react chemically with the electrolyte in a different way, which lowers his standards and so he can start to accept electrons around him. And the technical term for that is reduction oxidation reaction, but I like mine better. So the, the cathode wants electrodes, but they're all around the anode. But fuck me dead, the electrodes want to be with the cathode too. And when an easy path from the anode all the way to the cathode is available, all the electrons will rush over and flock to the cathode. And what do we get when electrodes move? Everyone say it with me. Fucking electricity, dickheads. Now, batteries are made up of what you call cells. And if you go to find, go to like the shop or something and get a double A or a triple A battery, they're actually cells because they don't become batteries until you put multiple together, e either in a series circuit or a parallel circuit. And I'll explain that over there. But this is pretty much a Minecraft representation of a cell where we turn it on and it does shit. This should be like a battery or something. And we got the positive cathode, the negative anode, and the electrolyte I guess in in the middle and when you put multiple of these cells together inside like a TV remote or a fire alarm or your mother's vibrator that's when they become a battery and your standard cell is about 1.5 volts and when you string them together like just over here in a series circuit so they're 
it's one battery or one cell two cell three cell all in a line all in a kind of a string series that's when you add the voltages together so three of them would be 4.5 volts if you have four that's six volts if you add two that's three volts but i'm going with three which is 4.5 volts and that's just three times 1.5 but when they're in parallel circuits so like here and if you want to know what a parallel circuit is I'd, I'd tell you watch my fucking videos and you'll know i've explained them before but when they're in a parallel circuit you don't add the voltages so this would all still be 1.5 volts but the current which is i'm pretty sure maybe one amp or something and then they're, they're measured in amp hours actually gets added on so two together would be double the amount of one and three together would last three times longer than just one so there are benefits for to putting them in a series circuit like over here and then there are other benefits putting them in to here so series circuit it's more power not power i mean it's just technically it's like it's more power i'm just gonna say and over here they they just last longer